Ah. And it is on this day, on September the 19th, that I make my return, finally. I think it's chill enough for me to make videos with my camera on, plus I thought that this day, the start of this week, on Monday, we were going to have to talk about something perhaps a little bit worrying. So I wanted for you to be able to see me and this beautiful chiseled face, for you to be a little bit more calm as we go through this discussion, because it might be quite worrying, honestly. And what I'm talking about is the release of Dragonflight. Yes, we know, we know. We know there is a release of this expansion before this year. Technically speaking, before December ends, we are getting Dragonflight. Also, what is even more interesting, so to speak, is this, like this thing right here, kind of, or I think it should be like over there, the leak. So a couple of months ago, or like 50 days ago, we have gotten this supposed leak that was talking and was telling us when the things of Blizzard were going to come out. It wasn't just WoW, it was WoW, Diablo, Overwatch, Call of Duty, Wrath Classic, it was a whole bunch of things. So this told us that the pre-patch was coming, the pre-patch for Dragonflight was coming at the end of October and then the expansion was coming at the end of November. This was, this was back when people were even thinking that there wasn't even gonna be time to release the expansion in December. Don't believe Blizzard, it's just a placeholder. The expansion is gonna come out in January, February or March. And then we got this leak telling us that not only the expansion was coming out this year for sure, but it was even coming out the month before the last one of the year. Not even December, November was the release. So what has started to have players a little bit worried and what prompted this video is that at this moment in time with the beta just a couple of weeks i think into the development of dragonflight we have a few issues issue number one we have gotten the beta out but we still don't have for example mythic plus testable mythic plus is not open the dungeons the new dungeons of from dragonflight and the new old dungeons from previous expansions are not testable in Mythic Plus, there is no new affix, we don't even know which of the affix are staying from Shadowlands, which are getting changed, we don't, nothing. We don't know about the difficulty, the gear scaling, the difficulty scaling of Mythic Plus, and of course, because we don't know about Mythic Plus, we can't test abilities, we can't test specs, builds and whatnot, because we don't have access to Mythic Plus. Problem number two, there is no raid. Raid has not been testable, the, the, the first raid of Dragonflight, Vault of the Incarnate, so of course, without testing the raid, you can test the difficulty of the bosses, the scaling in difficulty of the bosses as you go through the, 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 the raid itself, and of course, then you can test the specs, the classes, and how they're gonna work in the raid. Then, of course, PvP, technically you can duel, right, in PvP. It's not that you need something to be ready for Dragonflight, but more importantly, you don't even have something like the late game system, the late game situation of professions, because as was very very well welcomed we have we are getting a significant rework and revamp of the professional system this system is going to bring several things that will be very important in the late game like for example crafting of high end high item level as per blizzard's own words mythic raiding item level quality gear and not just one not just like you could in the previous expansions like Legion and BFA where you had one slot for your crafting profession to give you one item at mythic quality. In Dragonflight you can have up to five different mythic raiding quality pieces of gear, which is a lot, and we don't know anything about it. We don't know how long does it take to get these materials, where do they drop, how many of these you will have to go and pick from the raid or from mythic plus or from a rated arena, how grindy it is, how difficult, how locked behind reputations, how locked behind uh, time gates it is. We know nothing because it's not really testable yet. And to finish, to finish, remember this? Remember these things we checked? All these new shiny tier sets being introduced in Dragonflight for the first raid? Yeah, those tier sets come with a set bonus, which we don't know about because they are not in game. So. We are supposedly, if we trust the leak, we are approximately two months and 10 days before the supposed leak that releases Dragonflight. 70 days. So we have 70 days without testing Mythic Plus, without testing the raid, without knowing about what the tier sets even do for further testing, of course, of the balance of the specs and classes. And we have no real idea what is going to be into the end game crafting system 
you know how difficult how tough how grindy how much commitment we have to put in the in the, in the crafting system we don't know anything about that to finish of course there is the problem of the specs and classes it's very good what we have been seeing recently you know you have seen from my videos basically every other video is some recap from the beta about a whole a whole a whole world of text of changes from for, for many specs and classes we have gone through many of them yesterday or a couple of days ago we mentioned that there are a few specs now lagging behind a little bit in attention we mentioned like master shaman guardian druid a few specs not really updated much but recently we've gotten way more if you just go back to a month ago if you just go back to a month ago you remember the cries of priests being forgotten by the devs druids being forgotten by the devs uh, the warlock isn't even out uh, demon hunter doesn't even have its talent tree monk has been forgotten and now after a month we have gotten significantly more changes many many specs have gotten updated and have gotten significant rounds of, of tuning and, and reworking of their talent systems however however we still don't have them working fully many of them some of them don't even have talents fully implemented some of them have gotten repeated dev messages developer talks which is good because they are being transparent they are telling us what they are doing however they are telling us that they are reworking things that they are changing things and they are in the process of re reimagining parts of the talent system and again we have to go back to the initial thing i said 70 days before the release of the expansion that is kind of the problem you are 70 days before the release of the expansion and the specs and classes are not finished yet not even close plus you can't test the raid you can't test mythic plus you can't test the end game profession system and you can't even test something that can have a lot of impact as you saw from this tier or i should say the last tier the tier sets for your classes and specs which can also change significantly how you play and how powerful you are that is what was the point of today and the worry of today about whether or not we are actually in line and in time for a proper release some people have even been worried about the actual pre-patch but who cares about the pre-patch yes if we if we say that it looks like we are not in time for the release of the expansion then of course we are also not in time for the release of the pre-patch because the release of the pre-patch should also be about a month away and we supposedly should have all of the talent systems done right fixed for the, the pre-patch because that's what's coming in the pre-patch the, the the new talent system that is also something that doesn't look ready but i would be more worried about the expansion itself rather than the pre-patch that was the point of today and the worry about whether or not the release date is a bit too early of course if we go back to the leak the leak has of course already been confirmed in a few other instances because this was from a couple of months ago 50 days ago or so and we have already gotten since that leak the confirmation that the wrath of the lich king related uh, dates were correct you know september the 26th is when wrath of the lich king is released and this leak was correct september the 26th is when wrath of the lich king gets released the pre-patch for wrath of the lich king classic was the 30th of august so that was correct and then there was also the leak about the early access for overwatch 2 which was for the 4th of october that's also correct it's also been already uh, uh, announced so up to up to basically everything before the pre-patch of wow the leak has been correct so my take and this is where i have to grab my tank of of hopium is that blizzard was already safe and set and and pre-planned for all of these different games so for wrath for overwatch even for other things like call of duty uh, leaks which are also correct but not for wow if you think about it if you think about it we are even if the leak is correct even if everything about it is correct the expansion is out in 70 days but we still do not have the official release date told and announced to us 70 days before the release of the expansion i mean to some degree it makes some sense because shadowlands was announced in august the 27th for october the 26th then it was delayed by a month but the release was announced two months before in shadowlands okay so it is on track for that type of release then you had legion which was announced in april for the release in august about four months before the release you had the exact number the exact date of the release for dragonflight however 
it feels like it's a bit worrying because now we are also about two months technically before the release and we have heard nothing we just know the general angle of the release which is end of november to end of december basically the end of the, the year once we start thinking about this there is also another problem that players started putting forward for the release of this expansion which was the holidays right so not only there are players worried about how many things are not ready for the release of the expansion but there is also the fact that with the expansion coming out before the end of the year people started assuming oh damn it's coming out in december december it's when a lot of holidays are going to be and what's going to happen with the raid what's going to happen with uh, the first release of mythic plus of pvp rated arena right when the holidays are now even with the leak the leak of the 28th 29th of november as the release date what happened in shadowlands and previous expansions as well is that you get two weeks of peace two two weeks of truce where there is no raid there is no mythic plus there is no rated anything the season isn't officially starting for the first two weeks of the expansion you know it was the the idea the decision of blizzard to make the the world first uh, raiders and the no lifers come down for the first couple of weeks and just enjoy the expansion right before having to go all down on the content that opens so even with the leak to the 29th of november with the help of this calendar over here the 29th of november would be right here on tuesday or wednesday and then in a couple of weeks it's going to be the 14th of december so the 14th of december is when normal and heroic raid open plus the mythic plus with capped item level and then december the 21st is when mythic raiding and unlocked item level mythic plus and rated arena basically all of the end game content opens on the 21st of december that it was also something that was preoccupying players to have to go through the holidays with the the real juicy part of the start of the expansion being in the way that is why we have come to this <laughs> we have come to the realization that it would very likely be better for everyone if the expansion were to be delayed now it's funny that i'm saying delayed when the expansion doesn't even have an official release date and it's funny that i'm saying delayed even though if we say let's release the expansion on the 21st of december it would still be within the the circle the sphere of dates that blizzard gave us because what blizzard said is the expansion is coming before the end of the year so i'm purely talking about delayed expansion in relation to the leak which for now worth repeating has been correct in all the other uh, dates for the other titles of, of blizzard because if you for example instead of releasing the expansion on the 29th of november you released it on the 14th of december or the 21st of december what happens is for example on the on the 21st of december you have your first two weeks of no content two weeks of open world you do your your campaign your storylines you start doing your your profession farming your your faction and rep grinding you have time to level up some of your alts you know chilling with two layers of clothing in december with a cup of hot chocolate chilling or rather causing up very relaxed nothing really that pushes you to do content for 10 hours a day and then two weeks later on january the 4th is when normal and heroic open and then one week later on january the 11th or the 10th is when mythic raiding open so by delaying the expansion two to three weeks you will be able to get past the holiday problem without having end game content in the way while still having the expansion out while still having the the open world content and the general content of, of the expansion available this would help now that we know at the very least from my perspective that the expansion seems to be still not very ready for release in 70 days I am comparing this with what I was doing before the release of Shadowlands and looking at how things were before the release of Shadowlands, 70 days before the release of Shadowlands. That time we were further ahead than this. That time we already had all of the Covenant abilities testable. We already had all of the legendaries testable. We already had, of course, not being this much complicated. We already had the talent system already fixed in stone and ready to go. 
mythic plus and the dungeons were already testable we had some weekly testing of the raid already so compared to then we we look much further behind right now which is worrying is worrying for the release of the expansion of course things might change of course maybe as this video comes out by next week we start getting mythic plus testing and then maybe it it, it, it makes it fine enough but for now this is what i can see i think that with 70 days left to go without the testing of the raid without the testing of mythic plus the old dungeons the new dungeons the affixes the tier set bonuses for all the specs and classes and the end game profession system which we still can't really look at from this angle i think releasing the expansion in in 70 days or 28 29th of november is still too early and I think it wouldn't hurt, even if the expansion was ready, <laughs> the last point would still be here, even if the expansion looked pristine and just in time to release on the 29th of November, I still would think that it would be better to delay the expansion anyways, because releasing the expansion to have its largest amount of content available, the competitive content, in the middle of the Christmas holidays, I think it's just a bad decision. So you would be double winning, you would be winning by delaying the expansion to tune it a little bit more before release and then you would be also winning because by delaying the expansion you would be skipping the christmas holidays for the more competitive and time consuming content so that is the point of today on the day of my return the the worries i would say the worries of the release date and and the timings for this next expansion uh, let me guys know what you think of course about this um this issue especially the ones who are perhaps already unlike me of course in the beta and have seen more closely the state of the beta and how many things are or are not done if you think it's it's in time for a release in a couple of months or not with this being said we are going to leave each other to the rest of this week, which is likely known as the worst day of the week, this Monday. Thank you, of course, as usual. <laughs> Round of applause to all of my patrons for supporting me and helping me to, to continue to produce uh, WoW content for all of you who enjoy watching. Of course, if you want to support even more, you can like and comment down below on this video as well as subscribe to the channel itself, which I've been told is quite it's quite useful when you are on YouTube. And lastly, for social interaction, imaginary friends, parasocial relationship, and simping, you can follow me on Twitter, as well as subscribing to my Patreon right down at these two, 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 two links. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys soon. And in the meantime, mm, 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 I don't know. The, the expansion seems to have a very nice build-up so far. I just wish they would not just 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 rush it out for for no reason just take just take your time